Hello everyone! Happy 2022! This is my first video of the new year, even though we are on um, the 18th of January and the leaning clothes right on the background kind of gives you a representation of how life has been in the last couple of weeks. It has been such a lot of emotions but we'll get into that as we're doing this shit check get ready with me. It's so nice to sit down and film again and I have to tell you guys all that I'm so proud to say that I'm actually on the inky list PR list now which is so so exciting um you know after years and years and years of doing this lovely to be recognized by different brands like I've already got good working relationships with smaller brands and it's amazing that like a brand like the inky list would reach out to me and believe in me to share use their products and share my honest opinions so they actually sent me out their Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser and their Omega Water Cream. That is their, these are their two brand new products. And this video is not sponsored, but I thought I would use a couple of their products. So I got sent my first package back in, I think, end of October. But because I was coming from um, England to Scotland, the, the PR ended up going to my parents' house and then they had to send it and it was a bit of a faff so I didn't get it till like mid-November. I've been using quite a few of their products since then so I will be doing a dedicated video at some point and um, just talking to you guys about my skincare in general. They also sent me out another caffeine eye cream which I love. So I'm going to prep my skin and I'm actually going to start with a polyglutamic acid. Love that they've actually got on their packaging how to pronounce the words because they do use big ingredients and sometimes that's kind of hard to say. Thank you Inkillis for me making our lives a little bit easier. So this apparently is supposed to be a lightweight hydrating serum which helps to maintain skin's moisture levels and holds four times more water than hyaluronic acid which is insane because I'm pretty sure hyaluronic acid holds about a hundred times. I'll put the correct statistic here if I'm wrong um, and this has this is a perfect makeup base so I'm just gonna get started on my skincare prep. Oh no the last time I sat down and filmed Yes, I was in this room, but the lighting was just a bit crazy and I'd filmed on my Fujifilm camera 4K. Let me tell you something, guys. As much as people bang on about 4K, it is honestly so difficult to edit. It took me like three times as long to edit that, even though I've got an M1 MacBook. It should be really good with that sort of file size, but I've realized I don't need to use 4K unless I am on holiday and I really want to capture, you know, the bright colors and that sort of thing. Lovely serum, by the way, that sunk in really, really easily. Oh, another thing I love about the Inkless is that they've actually got very clearly on all their packaging when to use each product. And also like if you use it in the morning or the night or both, and then who it's best for as well. I just love how straightforward they make it. It's brilliant. So I'm going to moisturize with the Amiga water cream. Oh my goodness, this feels so nice. First impressions, you guys know I love my own release. It feels like similar to that, but more hydrating. I'm trying to get my skin back on track, guys. You know what it's like when you've been traveling and when I say traveling, I've just been like down south in England. I feel like I always drink way less water there. Now I'm back in Scotland, I literally have drunk like three liters of water in the last two days, which is exactly what my skin needed but I have got that flare up of dry skin here again because that's always what happens when I'm traveling it just my skin doesn't like it so back in Dundee back in Scotland it's the third week of January and we're back just before the last week of the year was essentially our Sheikh was coming to stay with us and spend some time with us. So we were really excited for that. Um, but then unfortunately the day that they arrived, I got some incredibly sad news of my second cousin passing away. Uh, so if you are watching this, if you can make dua for my family and especially, you know, his parents and his siblings, um, that would be amazing. I am the eldest cousin literally on all sides. I've got no cousins who are older than me. And so yeah, this was another very young death in our family. Again, if you're not new here, you will know that my first cousin passed away three months before my wedding back in 2018. So it was just honestly, it was such a shock and it was really, really emotional. And it was very hard to be up here in Scotland. And then unfortunately, like you guys know that if you're Muslim, that we do not delay the funeral and the burial should never be delayed so as soon as they could bury him they did and we missed the funeral me and my granddad my granddad was also up with the sheikh and we ended up missing the funeral which we were both gutted about and um, we were planning to fly down but anyway we ended up having to miss it and we drove down the next day Ukar kindly drove us all the way down and we did have sauce and spent time with the family and that was really really important to be there and be present. We were all wearing masks, you know, we were all keeping as safe as possible, but yeah, it was, it was really sad, really, really sad. And so the end of last year was just 
it's just a lot of grief, a lot of tears, uh, a lot of sadness um, and obviously the last thing that I'm really even thinking of doing is being on social media and I did have planned like a best of 2021 makeup, best of 2021 skincare, let me know if you still want to see that but obviously that was completely put on the back burner and then after that we spent the new year with our sheikh and the first part of the new year honestly the, the actual like between the 31st and the first was so beautiful we were just in this big room and it was like the the, the lights were dimmed and we were doing the most beautiful zikr and if you've never like sat in a gathering where people are doing zikr honestly if you have the chance to do it i would highly recommend it because it is the most calming soothing emotional experience and i think because it's been such an emotional week that was actually exactly what i needed and i couldn't think of a better way to enter 2022 other than just remembering god and um you know being surrounded by just beautiful people and us all just doing zikr it was honestly it was stunning but i'm going to be using the dior air flash foundation I'm, I'm hoping this hasn't expired but um i was going to use the new charlotte tilbury foundation and then i asked you guys on instagram if you thought i should use it in my get ready with me or if you'd want a dedicated first impressions and i think at the time of recording this more people are saying first impressions which is fine because i understand it's nice to have like a dedicated video where i'm just talking about that one product i love watching first impressions as well as reviews so i definitely will do that and instead i'm just going to use this I'd rather spray this on a dense brush but they are all needing a wash <laughs> i need to do a really big brush cleanse we open the new year like that and then unfortunately like on the 2nd of january and um, we started getting quite poorly and i was fine that day but he his throat was really bad and he started losing his voice and then i developed a fever as well but we ended up going to my uncle's house and then just like not emerging from our bedroom there um until we were feeling better and um, he did a test and it was negative we were isolated until our symptoms had disappeared and we were feeling better and then the second week i was spending a bit more time with my family in london so guys i've been using the um flat lay co bag which has been amazing but oh my goodness one of my foundations i think it was abh1 has exploded in there which is very frustrating so all my makeup and a couple of skincare bits are just coated in foundation oh, i hate it when that happens so much and i'm about halfway through the new kevin aquan concealer so um if you would like a updated review I did do a video a couple of months back. I did the old versus new formula. So if you'd like an updated review now that I've, you know, used it a fair amount, then let me know. And also let me know how you guys have been doing as well. Um, I hope you're doing well. This is not my typical base, but I've been reunited with some of my old makeup. <laughs> so I thought I would just, you know, use whatever comes to mind. And I'm not really going anywhere, I'm not really doing anything, I just want to sit down and catch up with you guys. Guys, I've had a really bad backache for the last sort of 3-4 days. Kind of started the night after we'd come back and driven back up to Scotland. And I think it's because we've not been sleeping in our on our regular mattress and obviously over the last few weeks we've been sleeping in so many different beds in different places and yeah i think i i don't know i don't know if it's the mattress or if it's just that i slept funny but sort of it's like the middle of my back it's just so painful and now i understand you know when older people have back problems why they talk about it so much because it is it like anything you're doing with your sitting or standing or moving or whatever just is painful and it's not fun to deal with at all so on last week thursday then i drove my grandma my ami g up to Milton Keynes and that's the first time I'd driven her long distance and she was pretty nervous. <laughs> she kept reading Draw Truth and I was like, don't worry, MG. I was like, inshallah, like it'll be fine. I was like, I've got experience, don't worry. Like <laughs> she was honestly she was so worried. She was like, no no, she was like, I'm like this with everyone. I was like, okay. <laughs> but it was really nice to go to Milton Keynes and spend some time with my sorry guys, my battery died and I was like, huh where is anything right now as you can see foundation everywhere i am gonna do my eyeshadow off camera trying out a palette but while i do my brows um, i'll just finish talking so then after two days of being in milton Keynes, it was just nice to just rest and chill there and spend time with my obviously my amiji and my family and we ended up guy came with his cousins and his brother and we ate my parents which was really kind my favorite pizza ever and chicken and naan 
and then mum made some food as well bless her and then we started the journey back up north so we picked up Rumi and he had been down down south for 10 weeks at this point which was a little bit crazy oh my goodness anything else want to go wrong anything else <laughs> been down for yeah a long long time and he'd obviously become super used to my family and they were very 50 50 my sisters were very much like let's we're happy to keep him happy to have him here but my brother was he just can't stand the smell he's like He's a lovely cat, he doesn't scratch, he's very friendly, he's like calm, he's a, like he's a lovely cat, but he's like, I just, I hate the litter smell. As you know, or you might know, my sense of smell is pretty non-existent, so for me, it's not really a big issue. But I remember Wakaira as well, when we were in the apartment, he would always say that, he'd always be like, oh, this smell is just too much. And obviously, like in an apartment, it's a much more... It's a much smaller place than a house, so you are more enclosed and the smell is going to be more intense. And then some of you might know that my sister-in-law is allergic to Rumi, sadly, which is one of the reasons why I decided when I came back up to Scotland back in November to keep Rumi down south because it just would have been having to keep him very separate in like one or two rooms and I just don't think that's fair at all. Whereas at least in Milton Keynes, he had the whole house he could roam about and no one would have to do antihistamines as well. I Again, I don't think that's very fair to expect someone else to be on antihistamines because of my cat. So yeah, um, it was time to bring him back though. And I was so nervous because on the way down, honestly, that was one of the worst journeys I've ever had in my life. He was meowing the whole time. Probably for about half an hour, he didn't meow. The rest of the five and a half hours, he was meowing his head off. He was just not having it. He was not happy at all. And since he's been down south, he's actually become an indoor outdoor cat. What well, his routine there was in the morning when they would wake up and he would be let outside for about an hour whilst they got ready for work and stuff. And then he'd come in, have his food, chill for a bit. Then my dad would come back from work um, around lunchtime and then he'd go out again for a couple of hours and then he'd come in before dark. So yeah, can you guys believe it? My little kitten has actually become a proper like indoor outdoor cat. And, and I think that you know he probably matured as well like obviously he's getting older he's probably matured as well but i'm sure his experiences of going outside have definitely meant that he has matured quite a bit and obviously his age as well you don't know what kind of eye look i'm gonna go for so i think i'm just gonna go in with trendsetter which is an absolute fave by the way have you seen that huda beauty is reformulated her liquid lipsticks i'm really surprised because I personally think the formula is really nice. What do you guys think? Are you a fan? I just feel like it's really nice and thin, but it obviously it is a liquid lipstick, so it will set and stay. And I love it. I much prefer her formula to ABHs. I can't remember actually the last time I've used my ABH liquid lipsticks, which is a bit mad because they were my faves. So because of Rumi's experience of being indoor outdoor, I really do think he has grown up a lot. And on the way up here, thank goodness he was actually fine. He meowed a little bit at the start um, and he had to have a new harness because he's gone so much bigger. It's one of those Velcro ones um, and he managed to squeeze out of it. In the first five minutes, as soon as we stopped for petrol, he squeezed out of it and Maguire left the door open and he was this close to just jumping out in front of all these cars. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Luckily we crashed up the door in time and I drove up to Manchester and then we stopped there, break a bit of munch and then we swapped so we kind of did the rest of the four hours, bless him, and Rumi then was able to, because he was in his harness but then he was there, this, his cat seat was attached to a strap which meant that he was able to climb into my lap and then he sat there for like the majority of the journey and was just chilling and relaxed and looking around and I was like, wow Rumi, that, that is growth and I'm impressed. <laughs> so yeah, he's doing well like being back here, he is still quite scared of the children he's good with Manahil quite scared of Harsha still and he's just getting used to being back in the house and he's loving all the extra space as well which is great and then over the next sort of two weeks people are going to be moving into the new house and then we're going to be able to start settling into this house which is exciting like my microwave toaster kettle all those things are already out we don't have a fridge right now which is a little bit mad you don't realize how much you use a fridge until you don't have one uh, so we are kind of just having to like cook on the day and eat it or have takeaways which is not ideal but inshallah these things take time and yeah i'm hoping this time next month like there'll be a lot of progress made this room that i'm in right now 
Um, I cannot wait to change the lights because that light is a bulb of flickers and it's so irritating. So that's why like it's very dark and shadowy behind me and I really hate that look. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to just making this house homely for us and starting with the renovation process. Now we're not going to be doing a full on renovation. We do not have a huge budget at all. But essentially the plan is for us to get this house looking a little bit more spick and span for ready for sale in a year or two or three. We will see what the situation is but in the meantime like we're making this into a home for us as well and it's yeah really really exciting. Obviously we're used to having, well, we've kind of done it all, we've like lived with in-laws like in one bedroom, we've had two separate two bedroom apartments and now we are going to be in a four bedroom house so yeah exciting times i'm definitely going to be documenting bits of the reno process a lot of it is going to be diy so if you're into that sort of thing if you've enjoyed my content with the new house then definitely stay tuned um i'll have that in i think i'll probably will do dedicated videos but i'll also add bits and bobs into the vlogs and i have started my vlog again um today just on my phone because again like everything is just everywhere right now but i thought i would just sit down and have a little catch up with you guys and you can expect my upload schedule of 2022 to be two videos a week every thursday there will be one beauty related video and every sunday there will be a lifestyle slash vlog video but there's also going to be one podcast a week every single monday we have missed our first monday that's because i was ill and maz is now away so yeah we I, I have missed one monday but inshallah it will be the only monday we miss and we're still finding our feet with the audio and stuff so thank you so much if you have listened and supported already i know the audio is a bit funky but we are trying our best because we've invested in this professional equipment and now we just need to figure out how to use it and eventually this room that i'm in right now is going to be like a photography slash office slash studio podcast all in one space and i'm so excited for that process and i hope you guys are too right now legit the only space to sit is the bit that i'm sitting in like every corner of this floor is just covered in our stuff our furniture from the flat and then like stuff that was here before and the kids some of the kids toys as well so yeah the next couple of weeks are going to be busy but we're going to take it easy because we have definitely overexerted ourselves in the last couple of weeks and managed to get ill two times and that was absolutely not fun at all so yeah i'm not going to push myself to do like three videos a week on here because that's too much but if you haven't subscribed to our podcast channel i'd really appreciate if you did it's at the voice notes diaries and also on spotify you'll find on spotify and please do give it us a follow and listen to some of our episodes let us know what you think we do really want to do a um kind of like a agony aunt slash dilemmas sort of session as well like at least once a month so if you've got anything that you'd like to send in to us anonymously of course um, we would love to read them out and respond with our opinions um so yeah again i'll leave all the links for that down below and i am hopefully inshallah this week gonna be restarting my photography youtube as well again i was like i'm not gonna miss a single week i'm gonna be consistent i unfortunately I had to, I just had to I had to have time off you know it was just too much going on but even now like life is so busy there's so much to do but this side of like the internet and sharing and connecting with you guys is so important to me um even if I make like minimal minimal return on it I'd still like rather carve out time in my week to do this than to just completely abandon it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me I will do my eyes and then I will be back in case you guys want a little sneak peek of the eyeshadow look that I come up with sorry guys the uh, light on my light the battery on my light just gave out so um gonna end the video here anyway it's been so nice to be back on camera just doing my makeup playing with makeup loving this palette like this lighting is not doing any justice at all next week i believe it will be the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin first impressions really excited to try that and yeah i hope you guys are doing super well i hope you've had a really good start to 2022 um and i will see you on sunday for my first vlog of the year take care bye